Hey guys, Lucky13 here. Uh, been playing around with this new uh, Max Sharpshooter uh, device. Check your timeline. Let's see. So it looks like this. This is what it looks like. And as you see, I do have uh, an old style keyboard. I got the purple plug in. Uh, it comes with two USBs, a purple plug in, and a green plug in for the. Uh, mouse and keyboard. I do have a PlayStation 3 controller uh, with a USB cord. So what you'll need for this is a, you can use a PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 1 uh, controller. It has the place right directly in the middle for that. Uh, but I just wanted to test, you know, I didn't want to go out and borrow one or buy one. Uh, so I just tested the PlayStation 3 controller, which works just fine. Um, so in order to use this, you'll need a mouse. Uh, it's a Razer mouse. It's one of the older... Blah, blah, blah. I got the older style uh, keyboard. It has the purple plug in. I'll turn the camera sideways there a little bit and see if I can get all this in the picture. It's an old compact. Um, I guess you can, if you have a USB uh, keyboard, you can probably pick up one of the adapters. I think they come with adapters. Or it might be the other way around. It might be the purple thing that goes into the... I'm not 100% sure. Um, however, you will need a keyboard and a mouse. You may have to do one, you know, program one and then the other. Uh, but it's super simple. I'm going to start a match here on the PlayStation on Call of Duty Black Ops 2, which is still heavily uh, played today. <sighs> and I'll show you a little bit of how to program the uh, Max Shooter with your PlayStation controller and your keyboard and your mouse. And it's, it's really simple. It took me a little bit to figure it out because the last video I seen was in Spanish or something and I was like, uh, I'm trying to figure this shit out and it's not working. Okay, so, the keyboard. You can see the TV uh, somewhere on there. Okay, so it's got a gun and you know it's got everything selected which is a pre preset. And on the keyboard I'm going to push the space bar which is your X. Ah. Yeah, I'm sorry, I got it set in set mode. Set mode. Okay, so spacebar and TV. I'm trying to get, I'll put it all up. I'm trying to get it up as high as I can. That way you can kind of see both. Okay, spacebar, TV. Okay, so you heard the spacebar. And as you can see on TV, you can see the head kind of turning. I got, I got it on the hardwood floor, so it's not really turning all that well. Uh, here's the mouse. As you can see, it's, it's turning. So I mean, it's, it's not like I'm faking you out with a, the, the. The thing here, as you can see, my PlayStation controller is blinking, which is a good thing because uh, a while ago I had it set for second player. Uh, it wouldn't, it wouldn't uh, do that, so I had to to uh, hold in the PlayStation button and turn the controller off manually. Um, so I did that, and then I plugged it back up and then I turned it back on, and I didn't let it, you know, configure itself as for player two. But as you can see on the keyboard, I'm making it move and jump and throw a grenade. I think I, get, I, think I got the grenade. Oh, I don't have that configured. Okay. So we're going to configure, configure mode. Uh, the only bad thing about the Max Shooter, it only has about a three foot cable. So when you plug it up to the USB, it kind of kind of blows. Okay, so you go, you got default and you got set. Uh, so you want to set your G button for grenade, you know, like on a computer. So you'll just switch it over to set, from default to set, hold in the P for a second, and then uh, your grenade is right trigger. So you'll hit the G for a grenade, all right? Okay, so all right, I hit the right trigger on the, well, I think it's, I think it's default. I might have changed it, I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, I hit the right trigger, trigger two, right trigger two uh, for grenade, and it says, Lethal's empty. Okay, so I already threw the grenade, and I used right trigger two, which is still blinking, which it's still acting as you know the first controller. Uh, I switch it back from set to default after pushing the P in, and then I will hit the G. Ah, still not picking it up. Okay, there. 
G. Okay, if I set it back to default. Oh! So, set is actually default. Gotcha. And then, second, the second left trigger, uh, we want to set, we want to hold in the P, hit our left second trigger, which is the flashbang or whatever, and then we're going to hit F, just because I want F to be my secondary flashbang or concussion grenade or whatever. So we got G as for grenade, F as for the tactical, uh, W, S, A, D, let's see. Okay, so we want to push P, joystick left up, and hit W. And it makes you walk forward. So, W, W. Which, if you set it on default, it's going to be WSAD automatically. But, uh, if, you go, if you want to do special, special stuff, like you have your own keyboard layout, and you want to set it that way on the computer for your PlayStation, you know, like, I'm a, I'm a PC gamer. Uh, I just got a lot of friends that play PlayStation, so I'm going to set, that's why I'm doing this tutorial. Just in case you are a PC player and you want to buy one of these things, which I highly recommend, unless you have a, a wireless uh, computer, let's see, what is what is it called? Uh, Ethernet? Yeah, wireless Ethernet in your computer built in. Then I think you can actually download uh, a program from, I think it's Sony, actually, direct. But anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and hit the P button again. You don't have to hold it in. Hit down left um, joystick and then hit S for back. So we got S, uh, S and D, or W, I'm sorry. W is forward, S is back. So, okay. So I got, still using the controller. Don't get sidetracked. Okay, so we're gonna hit the P again and then we're gonna hit left joystick left. And then hit A for left. So we got forward, back, and left. Forward, oh shoot. Forward, back, and left. That's all I got set so far. So I'm gonna hit hit the P button again. Remember we're still in the set mode. So I'm gonna hit the P button. It's gonna be solid. And then on the controller, I'm gonna hit right on the left joystick. And then on the keyboard, I'm gonna hit D for right. So we got back, forward, left, and right. Left, right. So it's just WSAD, just like a PC. All right, so basically, I mean, that's just a small tutorial on showing you how to set it up. You just push the P button, and you hit whatever button you want to configure on your controller to your keyboard. So it's P button, hit the button on the controller, and then your keyboard. Same thing goes for the mouse, P button, whatever button you want to hit on your controller, mouse. So that's it. Uh, it may take you about 15 minutes or so to figure out. Uh, like I said, the last only video I've seen was in Spanish. I think it was Spanish. Hell, it might have been French. I don't fucking know. I speak English. I'm not, I'm not dissing, knocking those, you know, but uh, yeah, it's not easy to translate and understand that unless you are fluent in that language. All right, guys. Well, uh, Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you like what you see, rate, subscribe, comment, like, thumbs up, thumbs up are good. And uh, just stay tuned for whatever I have next. Peace.